Hello everyone, my name is Theo Kylie from registration class L62 and I'm from EGP Block 3. I am going to do a book review about the book Finding Chica, A Little Girl, An Earthquake and the Making of a Family by Mitch Album. Mitch Album, for your information, is a best-selling author, screenwriter, playwright, and nationally syndicated columnist. He has written seven number one New York Times bestsellers, and his books have collectively sold more than 40 million copies in 47 languages worldwide. Album has also founded nine charities in his hometown of Detroit and since 2010 has operated the Half Faith Haiti Orphanage in Port-au-Prince. Here are some of the books that are also written by Mitch Album, which are The Timekeeper, Half a Little Faith, Tuesdays with Mari, The First Phone Call from Heaven, For One More Day, The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto, the Five People You Meet in Heaven, and The Next Person You Meet in Heaven. So, when the first time our EGP teacher told us about our reading project, I immediately went online to search for a book that I wanted to read. I saw a post by the Best Eastern Bookstore on Instagram regarding the book Finding Chica. That's when I decided to buy and read the book. The genre of the book is biography, memoir, autobiography. The page length is about 256 pages. The publisher is Harper 2019. The book is originally published on November 5, 2019. Here's the summary of the book. Chica June, which was the little girl in the picture, was born three days before the earthquake that decimated Haiti in 2010. She spent her infancy in a landscape of extreme poverty. When her mother dies, Chica is admitted to the half-faith Haiti orphanage, which album operates in Port-au-Prince. The nearly 50 children who live, play, and go to school there have become family to Mitch and his wife Janine, who have no children of their own. Chica's arrival makes a quick impression. Brave and self-assured, even as a toddler, she delights the other kids and teachers. Then, at age 5, Chica is diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, and a doctor tells Album there is no one in Haiti who can help her. Mitch and Janine bring Chica to Detroit, hopeful that American medical care will soon grant her a healthy return to her homeland. Instead, Chica becomes a permanent part of the album's life as they embark on a two-year around-the-world journey to find a cure. As Chica's boundless optimism and humor teach Mitch and Janine the joys of caring for a child, they learn that a relationship built on love, no matter what blows it takes, can never be lost. Next, I'm going to share what I have learned from the book or some motivational quotes that I really like from the book. The first one is, There are many kinds of selfishness in this world, but the most selfish is hoarding time because none of us know how much we have and it is an affront to God to assume there will be more. The second one is, the most precious thing you can give someone is time, Chica, because you can never get it back. When you don't think about getting it back, you've given it in love. The third one is, there's no affliction like hopelessness. I believe it is worse than anything that strikes the flesh. And the final one is, what we carry defines who we are and the effort we make is our legacy. Now I would like to share what I found interesting about the book. First, it is not a spoiler to reveal that Chica had died as it had been written on the very first page of the book as below. Chica died last spring when the trees in our yard were beginning to bud 
as they are budding now, as it is spring again. Her absence left us without breath or sleep or appetite, and my wife and I stared ahead for long stretches until someone spoke to snap us out of it. I guess the most interesting part of the book for me is each time when the author wrote the part where he communicates with Chica after her death. It's hard to decide that whether he is hallucinating or dreaming, but in my opinion, I think he was just imagining the scene that Chica is still by his side when he wrote the book in his office. This book tells me how the little girl brought parenthood to the author and his wife as they had no children of their own for years. There were also many motivational quotes that I could learn from the book, which I had already mentioned some of them just now. There are many pictures included in this book, which was one of the reasons why I like it. The words are not too compact, so it is easy to read. In overall, the book is very heartwarming and really touched my heart while I'm reading this book. For the rating, I'll rate this book a 10 out of 10. Because I really enjoy reading this book, I just can't stop reading it once I start it. I really recommend the book for everyone to have a read. Now, I'm going to share some of the pictures that are included in the book. Thank you for watching and don't forget to live a life.